So these are the most viewed videos of all time. Hmm. Lots of music videos. Wait. What is this? A girl and a bear? Over 1 billion views? Let's get to the bottom of this. The video is episode 17 of a Russian cartoon called Masha and the Bear. This raises further questions. Why episode 17? Why a Russian cartoon? First we need to understand what types of videos get hundreds of millions of views, and yes, sometimes billions. YouTube's algorithms encourage users to stay on the site for as long as possible. Something a cartoon series would have in common with music videos is that if you liked one video, you were likely to watch another in the same series, or by the same singers. Music videos also have the added benefit of fans looking for and sharing the videos, something a cartoon would have as well. Having a billion views does not mean a billion different people watch the video. Usually the same people replay the video many times. And to get to hundreds of millions of views, the videos need to remain popular for months or even years. The quickest video to get to a billion is Adele's Hello, which reached the milestone in 88 days. But some videos can take 4 to 5 years to get to a billion, including Baby by Justin Bieber, the second video to reach 1 billion views after Gangnam Style. Baby's climb to 1 billion was slow and would not have happened if the fans had not wanted to listen to it again and again over the years. After Mash and the Bear, the most viewed non-music video is Charlie Bit My Finger. It was once the most viewed video on YouTube and currently has over 800 million views. So Mash and the Bear had to surpass it at some point. Something must be helping Mash and the Bear get so many views. Why did a Russian cartoon get so popular? It is important to realize that just because something is not popular in the English speaking world does not mean it can't get big. Ola Soy Haman is the second most subscribed channel with over 26 million subscribers and the channel is in Spanish. Russian is among the most used languages on the internet after English, and Russian language videos don't have as much competition. So Master and the Bear is already a popular cartoon in the Russian speaking population. And there's a channel called Get Movies, which uploads Master and the Bear and other Russian cartoons to YouTube. By the end of 2014, episode 17 had about 300 million views, and on its best days was receiving about 1 million views a day and some of the other episodes had over 100 million views. How did it get this big? Do not underestimate children on YouTube. I was once a kid on YouTube, and I would watch the same videos over and over again, and I could watch for hours. Russian children probably watch their favorite episode many times, and YouTube's algorithms encourage this by suggesting even more in the same series. Episode 17, being the most popular, was suggested more often and the gap widened. And not to forget is that the channel Get Movies uploads multiple videos a day of various Russian cartoons, generating interest in the channel. And eventually the children will likely stumble upon Mash and the Bear. This idea of a rising tide lifting all videos is most evident with the music video You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. Since the release of the Shake It Off music video in August 2014, the views on the six-year-old song almost doubled in just under two years, primarily due to the success of the 1989 album and its songs. These are all advantages that Charlie Bit My Finger just does not have. But how did it go from 300 million by the end of 2014 to over 1 billion by the end of 2015? What is important to realize is that many music videos were doing the same thing during this time. Only two videos had reached 1 billion before June 22nd, 2015, but by the end of 2015, 15 videos had reached 1 billion. A noticeable trend is that old music videos started getting more views in 2014, which may be contributed to a YouTube algorithm change. And the introduction of the autoplay feature in the beginning of 2015 certainly helped create long listening sessions. But what really pushed Mash and the Bear over the edge? Well, in 2015, Mash and the Bear expanded into European markets, and the series saw a sudden spike in daily views and shares. These spikes are present in other episodes of the series, but is most prominent in episode 17, and it started getting almost 2 million views a day. But why did episode 17 get so many more views than the rest? Never underestimate children on YouTube. There's a video called Play-Doh, Sparkle Princess, Ariel, Elsa, Anna, Disney Frozen, Magic Clip, Glitter, Glider, Magic, Clip, Dolls that has over 400 million views 
which has a woman putting Play-Doh dresses on toy Disney characters, and the channel has over 9 billion views overall. Like Get Movies, this channel uploads videos daily, all with similar titles which are engineered to get little kids to click, making it the third most viewed YouTube channel. The other most viewed videos on the channel have about 200 million views, so it's not uncommon for the most viewed video on the channel to have many more views than the rest. All these factors contributed to episode 17 climbing up the rankings, and then in fall 2015, people started to notice that the video was one of the most popular on YouTube. And in the lead up to it getting 1 billion, it received even more attention, and humorously, the daily views after the video reached a billion were cut in half, before rising again. This outside attention widened the gap even more. What are your thoughts on Mash and the Bear? What do you think of the YouTube algorithm which made it possible? Any other trends you would like to be analyzed? If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Just a quick note I need to make. It is not exactly the truth to say that this is the first non-music video to get 1 billion views. There's a video called Wheels on the Bus, plus lots more nursery rhymes, 54 minute compilation from Little Baby Bum, which reached its billionth view before Mash and the Bear. But I chose not to talk about it for a few reasons. One, because the statistics on, on views and shares for the video is not publicly available. Two, because it probably reached 1 billion views for the same reasons as Mash and the Bear did. And three, because an argument could be made that it is technically a music video since it does primarily feature songs.